this video, we're going to look at using the Behringer BCF2000 with Pro Tools 12. So I've been asked this question a few times in the comments, does the Behringer BCF2000 work with Pro Tools 12? The answer is yes, it does. Now to set it up, first we need to, of course, plug in our BCF2000 to our computer with the USB cable powered on, and it needs to be in baby HUI mode. Now, if you don't know how to get your Behringer BCF2000 to baby HUI mode, basically you hold down the fifth button here on the top row and then power it on and you'll see BHUI. Now, I already have a video showing this, so go back and watch that video. It's exactly the same. Once you have it in baby HUI mode, go ahead and launch Pro Tools. Now we're launching it normally here, just double clicking. And once we're in Pro Tools and in a session, come up here to set up peripherals. Make sure you come here to MIDI controllers. On your drop down, choose HUI. Received from will be BCF2000 emulated. Now we did not install any drivers, by the way. I wanna make that clear. Just plug it right into your computer. We're using Windows 10, by the way. Just plug it right into your computer, power it on. It's class compliant. It should work just fine. You should not need to install any drivers. And then the SIN2 will go here to Behringer BCF2000 emulated. And number of channels is eight. Click OK and your control service should jump right into action. Now I'm not going to go over everything we can do. I already have another video showing tons of things that we can do with the BCF 2000. So go back and watch that video. It's exactly the same as it is uh, here in Pro Tools 12. So, you know, let me just move audio one there. You can see audio two there and I'll uh, do a control knob. I'll hit play, which I have some automation drawn in here. So if I just hit play, Okay, pretty cool stuff. Of course, you know, fast forward, rewind, pan knobs, uh, solos, mute. You can, you know, arm your track by uh, pressing down. Again, go back and watch that other video, the part two video. It goes into a lot of depth and go back and watch the uh, number one video for the BCF 2000 with Pro Tools 11. All of this stuff is exactly the same in Pro Tools 12 as it was in Pro Tools 11. Now we're on Pro Tools 12.5. So yes, the BCF 2000 works just fine here in Pro Tools 12. Now, if you happen to get any communication errors, MIDI communication errors when using your control surface and you get an error saying that you've lost connection, what you can do is right click the Pro Tools icon and choose run as administrator. That should solve your issue if you keep losing connection. Now, I used to suggest setting up Pro Tools to always launch with run as administrator privileges, but I don't do that any longer uh, from Pro Tools 11 and up simply because we can't drag and drop from the desktop uh, with uh, run as administrator activated there. So you, if you're having the MIDI problems, you kind of have to make a choice. You want to use your board or do you want to use drag and drop? So that's why I don't have it on automatically any longer. You know, I just choose run as admin if I need it that day. But right now we're not having any problems. As you can see, move my board and my, that's audio two there. I'll go to the mix page. You can actually see this. You can see no problems. We're not run as admin, just straight up launch of Pro Tools, okay? So once again, go back and watch those first two videos. They're from two or three years ago, but nothing has changed with the BCF2000 or in the way it operates with Pro Tools, okay? So once again, plug it into your computer with USB, hold down that fifth button from the top, make sure you're in baby HUI mode, open up Pro Tools, come up here to set up peripherals, MIDI controllers, choose HUI as the type, receive from your BCF2000 emulated, send to BCF2000 emulated, you want eight channels, Okay, and you should be set up and ready to run with your BCF 2000 using Pro Tools 12.